Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the, all the new features in the new Microsoft Office app that Microsoft just rolled around in January of this year. Well, now you might be wondering, why should I get the Microsoft Office, which you can download individually from the App Store or the Google Play Store? Well, let me tell you why. When you sum up the entire three app size, it comes up around to be 800 megabytes for all the three Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, with this Microsoft Office, you get all these three apps and a bunch of other features, which I'll show you later on in this video, and which only takes about 350 megabytes. So you're saving a lot of space on your device. Next, Microsoft Office app comes with a lot of features like I just stated. Have you heard of Microsoft Lens where you can just take quick photos and scan them to documents? Well, all those apps are now combined into one app with new features. So you can get Microsoft Lens, image your text, PDF to like Word document, all that just on your mobile device, hands free. So now you might be wondering, should I really get this in Microsoft Office app? Yes, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should. So the good news is the Microsoft Office app is available whether you have an iPhone or whether you have an Android device and the UI and the user interface is identical regardless of whichever mobile device you have. I'm going to be showing all the new features on the iPhone but if you have an Android you can easily follow along and all the features are going to be said the same and you can easily do whatever I do on the iPhone on your Android device. So without further ado let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is obviously get the Microsoft app either from the App Store or the Google Play Store depending on the phone you have. Since I have an iPhone, I'm going to get it from the App Store, but you can follow along if you have an Android. So we're going to go to the App Store and then search for Microsoft Office. And it's going to be the first result right here. Since I already have it downloaded, I'm just going to click on open. If you don't have it downloaded, download it and then open it. So I'm going to click on open. And we're gonna, once we're done there, we're gonna directly land onto the home page of the app. Now the app has a bunch of functionalities and bunch of functions that we can do, but I'm gonna go step by step from each, from the home to the plus button and to the action. So starting off with the home button. In the home button, you're gonna be listed with all the documents and files that you have. You can see all my documents right here. So the, as I've stated earlier, the Microsoft app combines Microsoft Word Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Excel, all three of those apps into one app now called Microsoft Office. And basically this app will allow you to easily see and view your Microsoft Office documents such as your Word documents, your PowerPoint documents, your Excel documents. So suppose I have this document app right here, I'm gonna click on it. And this is like my school assignment. So we can, I can actually review it and then I can actually edit it right here. So I can just edit it. Once I've done that, I can go back and then it automatically saves it to the one try. And I can do this for a bunch of the other, I can do this for Excel and PowerPoint. Okay, suppose I have a bunch of other documents, I don't want to go manually scrolling, I can actually use a search bar right here and then type. For example, I just opened up a document earlier and right now, I'm going to type document again. As you can see, those two documents show up and I can easily go click on it from there. And then next, we're going to move on to the plus button right here. The plus button actually gets where things get interesting. In the plus button, Microsoft actually combined a bunch of their older apps such as Microsoft Lens into one big app now called Microsoft Office. So let's start off with the notes. First and foremost, we click on the notes. And this is like your traditional notes. You can just type anything. This is a sample test. Now that I've typed this, I'm going to click on done. And then we're going to go back. And as you can see in my home page, the notes pop up, populate right here. So I can easily view through the notes. Next, we're gonna go back to the plus, and now we're, here's this lens, which I talked about how Microsoft Office combined the Microsoft Lens app, which allowed you to actually scan and view whiteboards, documents, files. So we're gonna just try this. So we're gonna click on lens, and then I have this document right here, I'm gonna just scan it. The good thing is, even if the document's like crooked and not aligned perfectly, Microsoft Office will actually find the positioning. So let's click. And then it will actually convert this in, into like a straight aligned document, as you can see. It has found the text from it, and I'm going to click on done. And I can save this as various file types. For example, I can actually add another photo if I have one. And then I can actually crop it, do some filters. For example, if I, there's like a normal, we have none, no filters. The document, for a document. We have the light in, if it was a whiteboard, or the black and white. I preferably like the black and white because it removes all the extraneous inks and dots from the paper. So we're going to save it now. Click on save as. And then we can, there's more functions. 
For example, if I want to like annotate something, and then I can just click on text and then write something here. And then we're going to click on save as once we're done. And then we have now three options. We can save it as a PDF, a Word document, or an image. So I'm just going to click on Word. When I click on confirm, and click on done. It's processing. Once that is processed, that document will be converted into a word which I can edit further. So for example, let's right here. I can actually like type stuff and then like annotate and do all the good stuff that we can do with the normal word document. So now we're going to go back to our home page. And since I've edited it, I don't want to save the draft. If you want, you can save it. Just I'm going to click on delete. And then now we're going to do the explore the last function in the plus button. It's called the documents. The documents basically is like your normal Microsoft Excel PowerPoint. You can either create a new document by scanning it, or you can actually like dictate it. For example, you say hello, and then that will be collected into into the Word document. And then we can actually start from a blank document and then work ourselves way into And same for Excel and PowerPoint. And then that's that. And now we're going to look into the actions, which is the best part of the Microsoft Office app. So we have a bunch of options. Let's start from the top. Basically, you can transfer your files from your computer to your phone you can transfer from your phone to your computer and i'll show you guys an example later on in this video so now we're going to go to the image to text i've actually made a separate video about image to text and you can watch that right here or you can just see what it is and now i'm going to give you a quick rundown of how this works image to text is basically the microsoft office is going to scan and look for text from a document and that's going to convert that text into editable text which you can then later on edit manually using your computer via word pdf or you can edit on your phone or share it to someone so i'm just going to quickly scan this document and that'll convert that into an editable text if you want to see the full video on how to do this step by step i strongly recommend that you check that out and i'll link that video in the description below so i'll just click on image to text and then take a photo once that's done as you can see, it's made a box around it. It's ex extracting the data from the document. Okay, and as you can see, this document's text is converted into editable text. And yes, we can just click on X now. And I don't want to save it, so no. Sorry, click on X and then click on the X again. And as always, you don't actually have to take a photo directly from the camera app. If you already have a photo saved somewhere else, either in your photo library, you can actually just import that directly. Okay, so now the next thing after we moved on from image to text is image to table. Image to table in essence is basically the same thing as image to text. However, the final output won't be an editable text. Instead, it'll be a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet containing all the data in a table format. So I'm not going to show you like a visual example of it because I just showed you how to do it for image to text. All you have to do is the same thing. Basically, you have to scan the, your document and that will take that document's text and, and convert it into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So now we're going to move down to what Microsoft Office actually ex puts a lot of time into and that is converting documents to PDFs, scanning documents and then signing them. And I'm going to show you guys in detailed way for all four of the things here. The first thing we're going to go to is scan to PDF. So we're going to take a document and we have it right here. Take a photo of it. And again, Microsoft Office is gonna make a box around it because it detects all the text in the document and it's gonna click on next. And then boom, it just converted this document into a PDF format. Now we can do the same thing by adding filters, cropping it. This looks good to me, so I'm gonna click on done. And then boom, we can annotate it further and we can share it to like this, wherever you want. So. Then you can just click to send a copy and then your normal forms of sharing for either for Android or iPhone will be launched here. I don't want to actually save a copy for this. So I'm just going to go back and discard. The next thing is sign a PDF. So uh, we're going to search for a PDF. I'm going to go through my OneDrive and then find one. So I'm going to open this getting started with OneDrive. So it's just a sample PDF I have. So now I'm going to suppose I want to put my signature all the way at the bottom. So right here, somewhere right here. I'm gonna type, tap right there. And here, since I don't have a, already a customized or a pre-made signature, I'm gonna make one right here in front of you guys. So we're just gonna do this. Just quick, I know the signature won't actually work in any legal document, so don't try forging it. <laughs> then click on done, and boom. 
the Microsoft Office app has converted the signature and inserted it into this PDF. Really cool. And we're gonna click on the check mark and saving this document, this PDF with my signature in it. Next thing, we're gonna do the same thing. It's picture the PDF. Create a PDF document from your pictures. So I'm gonna select one of my pictures, for example, this one right here. And then this is get converted into a PDF. Boom, this is another PDF. And then I can share this to whoever I want to, but I don't actually want this in this case. I'm just click on discard. Next thing, same thing, document to PDF. It's gonna look for a document and then convert that into a PDF. I've already made a video where I showed you guys how you can convert a Word document from a PDF, but that was on the PC version. But I'm gonna show you now how you can do it on your mobile phone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is browse for a file. So let's just say, let's browse for a document. And it's converting the Word document into a PDF. Looks good to me. I can annotate it if I want, but now this is done. Click on share, save your document name, just say test, and then done. And then upload it where I want. It's uploading to my home. Now it's in my home. Next thing is going to be our QR codes. So now we can actually scan the QR code. So basically it's going to look for a QR code wherever it is and then scan that. And then it's going to open up a file type if it has a file containing in it. And we can actually create a form like Microsoft form. Anything we have. So that's like the last feature in it. Okay, so I know you can actually take a QR code directly from your camera app, but what Microsoft Office allows you to do is you can scan the QR code and that document will be automatically saved into your my home tab right here. So I'm going to scan this QR code from one of my previous videos. And now I know this is actually not a document. It's just the YouTube link for my YouTube channel. But so I can actually copy it and share it or add it to my notes. So I just do it right here and then done. It's added as a note. Click on X. As you can see, there's a note added right there. This is another cool feature of Microsoft Office. So another thing that the Microsoft Lens is actually does that in the lens, we're gonna click on it. And then like I showed you guys for a document, Microsoft Office is actually good at recognizing text from a whiteboard. So let's just take a photo of this whiteboard. And even if the whiteboard wasn't actually aligned, it actually taken a good Rect square or rectangle photo of the whiteboard. So now we can click on confirm and boom, it has saved it as a document. So we're gonna, again, I have a choice saving as image, word, or PDF. Let's save it as an image for this case and click on done. And there, I can just look at this image right here. I can share it if I want to. And then, yeah, that's another feature of the Microsoft Lens. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go back to the transfer file, which I told you that we'll go back to. So we're gonna click on transfer files. And it, as you can see, it says, go to transfer.office.com on your computer. So you can actually do two actions right here. You can send files from your phone to your computer, or you can receive files from your computer to your phone via the Microsoft Office app. So what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna receive a file from our computer. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna receive a file from my computer and get it on my phone. So what I'll, all I'm gonna do is click on receive. All right guys, so I'm on my computer right now. As you can see, there's this Word document right here called YouTube link, basically a link that will redirect you to my YouTube channel. So what we're gonna do is, what it says, we're gonna do exactly what it says on the Microsoft Office app. It says, go to transfer.office.com on your computer. So I'm gonna open up a web browser. And um, once I open up a web browser, I'm gonna go to the site called transfer.office.com. It's gonna change the domain name to fellowtransfer.trafficmanager.net. That's the same link as transfer.office.com. Once we're there, we're gonna click on receive on our mobile device. Because as I stated earlier, I'm receiving a document from my computer to my phone. So I'm gonna click on receive. Then I'm gonna scan the QR code. And once I've scanned the QR code, I'm gonna click on pair. It's a good thing to click on pair on both your devices, your computer and your mobile device. Once I've done that, since I'm receiving my uh, photo or file on my from my computer to my phone, I'm going to click on choose file to send. And then as you can see, there's the Word document that I was talking about. Click on open. And then boom, it, it says send. And here, as you can see, it has appeared on my phone. If I click on it, it's a YouTube link that will go to my YouTube channel. There. So that's a really convenient way that Microsoft Office has brought, or a convenient feature that Microsoft has brought in their Microsoft Office app. You can send as many files as you want, 
as long as the attachment for each file is no more than 30 megabytes. So this, this is true for most files. Like as you can see, this document is only 13 kilobytes, not that much, right? So it's a really good feature that Microsoft Office, that Microsoft Bar and the Microsoft Office app. So there you have it guys, now you know all the new features that are in this Microsoft Office app. And if this video helped you, remember to give it a like and share this video with friends and family. Now you might be wondering, should I get this Microsoft Office app or should I get the individual apps? The choice is yours. Here's what I take on it. My take is that you should get the Microsoft Office app. Here's why I say this. First of all, you save on space like I said in the beginning of the video. The combination of all three apps take like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, comes around to be around 800 megabytes. But with the Microsoft Office app, you only take up a 350 megabytes. And next, that reason isn't good enough for you. You get all these new features like I showed you in the video, like directly share your documents from your computer to your phone and vice versa. Microsoft Lens, scan a document and convert it to PDF, convert a PDF document to a Word document. So yeah, you'll certainly be missing out if you don't get the Microsoft Office app. There's a reason why Microsoft obviously rolled out this app, right? They want to get a hands-free experience on your mobile device so you can do whatever you want that you do on your PC right on the go. With that being said, that's it for this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you want more videos like this, comment down below any questions or problems that you may have about Microsoft Office or any other tech-related product. That's it for this video. Check out my previous videos, which are linked on screen, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.